I'd just like to get an overview of, I guess, what your portfolio currently looks like. Um, what does it look like? So this is in basically alphabetical order, so it's not necessarily any logical order. So it runs something called an acceleration strategy. That's basically um, a the a trend on a trend. So if momentum's increasing, that's positive acceleration. If momentum's reducing, that's negative acceleration. If a market's falling, but it starts to fall less rapidly, that's positive acceleration. You get the idea. Um, I've got something called asset trend, but that's where that's basically where I form my trend signal on the whole asset class rather than just an individual market. So I say, are equities overall bullish? In which case, I go along all the equities and vice versa. Uh, I've got a breakout signal that basically sort of sees where a price is within a range. And if it's near the extreme of that range, then it goes longer or shorter. Uh, I use carries. That looks at the slope of the uh, futures curve. Um, see whether it's in contango or backwardation. Um, I use what I call momentum, which is basically exponentially weighted moving average crossovers. So that's momentum on the actual price itself. Uh, I've got a very slow mean reversion. So, um, you know, the most asset prices seem to mean revert at longer time frequencies, also at shorter time frequencies, but I, I can't seem to get those strategies to work after trading costs. Um, but yeah, over longer time stream frequencies, so basically let's say the S&P has outperformed the, the FTSE 100 for the last couple of years, then I would go short the S&P and long the FTSE. Um, I use something called normalized momentum, which is basically my, my normal momentum signal. But before I use it, I actually perform a risk normalization on the price series. So that makes the price series itself more normally distributed and gives a cleaner signal. Uh, I use relative carry. So that's saying, you know, if, if the carry is higher in one particular part of the equities space, say I, you know, go long that and short things with lower carry relative momentum again within asset classes. So I go long things that have gone up relative to other things. So that's like the opposite of the mean reversion signal, but obviously it's happening at a faster time frequency. And then I've got, finally, I've got a skew signal. So that says if, you know, if price movements have been, um, extremely scary recently so if there's been big sharp falls in prices then i would actually go long those assets um because generally speaking the market pays a risk premium for assets like that and i do that on both an absolute and a relative basis that's my current suite of trading rules at the moment